which has proven to be a little bit difficult. sunshine days here in the winter I'm learning so when we have a day full of sunshine we really don't take it for granted I think I've talked about this on my channel before I feel like I'm one of those people that I feel like my mood is affected by the weather kind of and on rainy gloomy days I really have to push myself to be joyful and find things to make me happy because I just don't feel very happy on rainy days but on sunny days I feel like I've come to life I just feel joyful anyways the weather should not affect my mood my mood should only be affected by the Lord my joy comes from the Lord whether it's a sunny day whether it's a, a rainy gloomy day so that's something that I'm working on but I will always be thankful for sunshine days that's for sure I don't really know where I'm going with this video just kind of vlogging today as you've seen we have some work that needs to be done just most days and we'll have some actual work to do around the bed and breakfast as well today so we're gonna go work on that now because I believe that Caleb has fallen asleep for his first nap I think he is anyways I need to check on him. So we're gonna keep doing phone calls, emails, things like that, and then we'll also have some physical labor that'll need to get done. Last night, we just dove into a ginormous pro project. We decided to switch our bedrooms around because in this room right here, I don't know if you can see, this is not a full wall. It just, it doesn't go all the way up to the ceiling. And that's where Caleb was. He was in that room, but it was really hard for us. Like we would easily accidentally wake him up because it was so hard to stay quiet by us just doing our normal thing in the rest of the house. So we decided to try to switch rooms. This room is also pretty dark because it doesn't have any windows or anything. So we decided to switch rooms and so we switched him to where we were and we did this all yesterday afternoon and he kind of came to life. Like he was thriving. I don't know if he missed being in a room with windows where it was actually bright in there where it felt welcoming for him to come in and play with his toys and read his books. I'm not really sure but it really brought him to life which made me super happy. And then we decided to go ahead and start the process of transitioning him from a crib to a toddler bed situation which has proven to be a little bit difficult and you know we've never done this before obviously so we don't really know what we're doing hopefully it's not too soon to be transitioning him but he's doing decent it's just gonna be one of those things that takes time so anyways that's a little update there yeah i'm trying to make some sourdough today probably try to go outside after he wakes up since it's such a beautiful day we're also trying to find a piece of furniture i think we want to get my house is a mess right now by the way so 
just ignore that as I pan you around but we want to get a little table to go right here a little dining table because we have one in our little kitchenette right now but it's it's really tight in there so I think we want to try to find a little dining table to put over there it opens up the space a little bit more so we might try to thrift one we just need something small we don't need anything big so we might try to thrift a little table I don't know if we'll get into that today or not but I just wanted to check in and um, see how you guys are doing you should leave me a comment tell me how you're doing down below I'm really feeling good getting back into making consistent videos it's exciting the new year I'm just excited to be back doing it again so uh, we'll see how long it lasts hopefully hopefully it'll last a while but I've said this a million times before so okay ready to get some stuff done <laughs> I basically just try to listen to my body and that's been a hard adjustment, honestly. But we also just, I don't have as much time as I used to to be consistent with, with exercising. So I just try to focus on moving my body and listening to my body because at the end of the day, those are the two most important things. So am I getting movement in during the day and am I listening to my body? needs. And that's kind of hard to do, especially if you're someone who has struggled with such a, a rigid control over your body, like I have, I guess, and like struggling with an eating disorder and stuff. You just, you have so much control over yourself, so it's hard to let go of how you used to do things. But it's also very freeing, and it feels good getting to that point. It's taken a lot of time, and I am not perfect at it. I still struggle with it every day. But slowly but surely healing and getting better praise the lord so anyways i'm just having a little protein shake i'm putting banana peanut butter chia seeds some spinach and almond milk in here i'm gonna blend it all up see if i have enough room to put some ice in there and then i'm gonna get changed because i think we're gonna run some errands and then we are going to our friend's house for pizza tonight which i'm excited about smoothie is a hit i would say check out the dough, she's rising. Very excited about that. Mm -hmm. Funny. Uh -huh. oh. <laughs> Is that funny? Uh -huh. <laughs>
but this time I decided to try to bake my sourdough in a bread loaf pan. Uh, we'll see how it turns out. I also filled this one with cheese and um, minced garlic. My mom makes hers like this. It is so, so, so good. So I'm gonna try to do mine like that as well. It has to rise just a little bit longer and then it'll be time to bake it. I also always undercook my sourdough loaves right in the middle, which is a bummer. So hopefully this one I can actually bake right as well. Ooh, wow. Hot, yes, it is hot, you're right. It's got a crunchy outside. Guys, if you make sourdough and you watch my videos, can you tell me what you try to get your bread internal temperature to? Because this is the part I always mess up. I always have a literal raw loaf in the middle, which is not fun. Not done? All right, test two. There's cheese literally bubbling out. It still says it's not ready. Uh. It's still, well that one is almost, it's almost ready on the edges. Let's see. Okay, it's kind of finely done, but a little bit burnt. But we're running late to dinner with our friends, so we've gotta go. It is so crispy on the outside. <sighs> if you make sourdough, please comment your tips. I need help. Okay, we just got back from our friend's house and put Caleb to bed. Here's the finished loaf. Sorry, I just walked up the stairs. <laughs> I'm out of breath. All of this is cheesiness that baked out, but not a ton of air pockets in there. So that's what I'm gonna try to start working on is getting like that really air pocket filled dough, like sourdough that you get. But I'm pretty pleased to taste decent. I'm having a little piece right now, but we had a really good time over at our friend's house. It was so sweet of them to have us over. They have a little ones. And so Caleb had a really, really fun time just playing with them and hanging out with them. It was so good for him, for all of us to just get out of the house and be with people. It's important to have a community. Anyways, we just felt really blessed and it was a fun time. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. I'm gonna eat my bread, take a shower, and go to bed. But I love you guys. I'm so thankful for your support and watching you watching my videos. I hope that you find encouragement or inspiration in them or just have something joyful to watch that fills your time. That's the goal and the prayer with these videos. So anyways, thanks for being here. I'll see you in the next one. Always remember how fully known and fully loved you are by your creator. I'll see you in the next one. Thank you.